Hey folks, uh, got my boy Liam here. <laughs> He's gonna be on film with me this time. Um, tonight we're gonna do some balloon fishing uh, and some bottom fishing. Um, okay. A little bit of both. You always wanna cover all your bases. We always run some balloons for suspended fish and we'll throw some down on bottom. But I've had a lot of questions about the balloon rig so I kinda wanted to give you the lowdown on, on how to, I rig this. Um, forget about all this leader and stuff down here. Just, uh, just Main line here. Here's main line. The very first thing you do is slide on one of those these uh, sliding. They call them a bobber stop or a uh, slip knot. You, you slide that up your line first. This can move, which is part of the system. You can put this, and that will control the depth of whatever you want it at. So bobber knot, uh, slip knot first. Then as you work your way down your main leader, there's uh, the bead the bead's gonna hit that stop, which is gonna stop my balloon. This is what my balloon will be riding on, just a snap swivel. It goes right under the bead. So bead goes up, the balloon rises up with that snap swivel and stops wherever I put that. So below those, then is your weight. I'm using a five ounce, um, just depends on current and situation and everything else. Then underneath the five ounce weight is another bead. That is simply as a knot protector. So when that weight is banging against that, just a knot protector for your barrel swivel. You wanna always have a barrel swivel, that fish spins, and then that's also what your leader gets tied onto this other end. So my main line here is 50 pound mono on this rod, and my leader line is 50 pound mono also and then we're running a 12 watt circle hook at the end very important always snail your hooks see how it's wrapped around that shank that's a snail when you set that hook that your the your lines pulling direct on the shank instead of having some knot up here that's uh, swiveling against the eye of the hook your your knot is around the shank which gives you much more direct and powerful Jeez. hook set so then here at the end, um, right here. it's not dark yet, but um, it will be soon. So I'm gonna go ahead and I've already snapped that and shake it good. And you drop, drop a glow stick in your balloon. You got your hook sharpener? Yeah, I've always got my hook sharpener. <laughs> you don't need to blow it up very high. Just a little balloon like that can hold a, a one pound bait easy and all this, your weight and everything else. Just drop a glow stick in there. And then you grab that snap swivel I told you about that slides up to your stop. Just open that up and you just use the nipple of the balloon and just get it on there real good like that. Snap it back into place. And there you go, folks. You got your balloon rig. Um, that's actually about where I wanted to stop. I'm fishing this kind of shallow. There's a lot of rocks out here behind me. This helps you from getting snagged up in the rocks. A lot of fish feed upwards. Um, I love balloon fishing. And so how it works real quick? What's that? Oh, let's uh, show you how I hook a. Let me do here's, it. We got several different baits tonight. Let me do it. Liam's gonna show you how we typically hook a bullhead. You hook them down here by the, that's called the adipose fin right here. This little fin, their, their back's a lot thinner down here, so you, you hook them thin, so you have a lot more hook exposed, and that flathead grabs, you're gonna have a, your hook's not gonna turn back into the bait. See how much hook he's got exposed there? You just hook them thin right here by the adipose. And that's it. And the other beauty of this rig is if they're not hitting on balloons that night, I just simply take my balloon off and you've got your standard Carolina rig you can just throw on bottom. So this rig you can switch back and forth either way, balloon, any depth you want under the balloon or take the balloon off and go to bottom. Uh, we're going to go to work and see what happens. Hopefully we'll be back with a big flatty. Don't stop yet, cast it out there. Show them how it looks in the water. And you want that bait to do exactly what he's doing. 
you'll start moving all around. You'll cover water for you. Uh, when, sometimes when you throw a bait on bottom, they'll find cover or they'll just uh, go motionless and lay there dead, hiding. They're smart. You have them suspended under a balloon. Your bait's constantly moving, constantly drawing in the flatties, covering water for you, making them distressed vibes, swimming all over the place. Calls in the flatties. See you, folks. All right, you ready? Folks, it didn't take long. We got our first beauty of the night. Actually, this young lady right here, Brianna West. That's Liam's my baby. That's my baby. Got the pleasure of reeling in this beautiful yeller. We don't get them in Kansas very often, that, that bright of yellow. Can you get by the fire, man? Can you see how yellow that is? Well, no, with my flash you can. Don't burn the fish. I'm not, I'm not. <laughs> Anyways, um, this is her first flathead ever, I believe, right, ever. Brianna? Uh, this was not on one of the balloon rigs. This was on a bottom rig with a uh, with a golden shiner on it, and it <laughs> took about 15 minutes. And this bad boy started zinging the clicker, and now she's going to release her first flatty. You ready? Mm, kinda. Grab him. Grab <laughs> him. Real firm, right there. Right there. Yep. And then you always support a flathead's weight right right there, not on your belly. That can squish their guts. Right Back here. here, and that's the way to hold a flathead. Take him right over there, and Liam will follow you, and let's release her. Uh, I'm gonna talk for a second. Uh, we unfortunately we you can keep Go doing what you're doing. In the water and um, you, just, you let it kind of recoup. Here, I'll help you. Unfortunately, so we were doing yeah. a hyperlapse with the fire and everything. I had to uh, jump in the water, kind of kneel, kneel down with him, and catch and, him. So I'm soaking let him wet for a little bit. <laughs> it was awesome. Uh, I'm gonna Dude, need to get in. You get in if you want to, babe. Okay. <laughs> okay, whoa, whoa, it drops off. I know. Hold on, let me go on the other side of you. Turn, Turn this way. Now get him in the water. Oh, shit. I got you, fam. Okay. Get him in the water a little bit. Like this? Yeah, yep. you let him recoup a little. All, like, all the way down. So he, his gills, see his gills moving? Yeah. You get that water and you kind of uh, push him back and forth a little. Like there this? you go. A little, a little more. That gets the water flowing back through his gills real good. Now put your hand underneath his mouth and see if he'll kind of swim away on his own. You just kind of hold him there. Uh, keep him in the water, but give his head a turn back towards the camera. There you go. Nice. Put his head down a little. And then he'll let you know. He'll he'll take off when he's ready and then... Do I keep moving him? Yeah, you can. A little back and forth action. Kind of give him a push, babe. Like, do you want me to send him off? No, don't let him let him send off on his own. Is that all right? Yeah, he's ready. He, he wasn't out of the water very long. He'll go. He's starting to turn. I'll just. There he <laughs> Anything else? That was awesome, man. Way to go, Brianna. <laughs>